yogis. My name is Lisa. Welcome to this one hour yoga class that is going to focus on the theme of finding balance, balance between movement and stillness, between rajas and tamas, between yin and yang. Just as it's important that we move our body, it's important that we also find those places of stillness, but not so much stillness that we never move. So it's finding a balance between these two. For this class, you will need a rolled up blanket, but don't worry if you don't have one. You can just do the poses as they are without the blanket. So come into a nice easy seat here. Close the eyes, place the palms of the hands on the knees. And just take a moment, settle into the breath to find your place on the mat. Take a moment to check in with the body. How are you feeling today? Check in with the mind. Where is your mind today? Is it present? Is it in the here and now? And check in with the breath. Long, slow, steady inhales and exhales. I want to use the breath both in movement and in stillness. That's our home, that's where we come back to all the time. Just breathing here at your own pace, no stress, no strain. And then when you're ready, slowly open the eyes. And we'll turn on to the side of the mat here and grab our blanket. So make sure your blanket is rolled up. I think I just unrolled mine, so we'll roll that up again. So come into sitting on your knees, and then we're going to lift up onto our knees and bring the blanket right behind the knees. It can be helpful to bring the forehead down onto the mat tuck that blanket in between the knees and then we're going to sit back. So we're getting a massage on the calves here. It can be quite intense. If it gets too intense, please feel free to put your hands down and lean a little forward. It takes some of the intensity off. Otherwise, just place your hands on the thighs and just breathe. You can close your eyes if that feels good. We won't spend too long here. Try to breathe into the sensation, which can get quite a lot on those calves. When you're ready, bring the forehead back down onto the mat, rolling forward a little bit and scooch that blanket down a little more. So it's further down on the calves, about halfway between just behind the knees and the ankles. And sit back once again, breathing here. Feel free to lean forward if the intensity gets a little much. And then you can 
forward again. And we'll bring that blanket down onto the ankles here. And sit back. Just breathe, starting here with some stillness before we start to move. Sometimes stillness makes you appreciate movement and movement makes you appreciate stillness. So try to stay present regardless of whether we're moving or we're still. Try not to be longing for one or the other. Focus on what is right now. And then when you're ready, leaning forward, take that blanket out and just sit back for a moment on your heels. We take a big stretch up at the arms, bringing the hands to your heart center and down. And we'll come into tabletop here. And now let's start to move, making, we'll start with just small circles around to the right, getting bigger and bigger, starting to move more as your body starts to become a little warmer. Make those circles as big as you like. You can come all the way forward, all the way back, just finding some organic movement here, whatever works for you. No right or wrong, it's your body, it's your movement. And last circle in this direction, and then we will reverse the direction. So moving towards the left and then round to the right, or the other direction, depending on whatever you took the first time. Just reverse the direction, as big or as small as you like. Not worrying about any sort of alignment here, just moving, just getting the body moving. you hear some cricks and cracks <laughs> your shoulders or anything else waking up for the day and just two more circles here and then come back up to tabletop and we'll walk the hands forward here into our puppy pose bringing the forehead down on the mat hips over the knees Release. Broadening through the shoulders here. And let's inhale, look forward. And then we'll walk the hands over to the left, bringing the right hand on top of the left. Forehead down to the mat again. We stretch along the right side of the body. And look up and forward. And walk your hands over to the right hand side, bringing the left hand on top of the right and dropping your head down for a stretch along the left hand side of your body. And then on your next inhale, look forward. 
come back to puppy pose. Take a couple of breaths here. And then on your next inhale, kicking forward slightly, and walk or slide those hands back, knees together. And we'll come into an extended child's pose here. Arms lengthened in front of you. And next inhale, coming up to tabletop. Knees hip width apart. And then we'll continue forward, dropping the hips down towards the mat. And you can lift up here into an upward facing dog if you would like, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, bending the knees, exhaling, coming back to extended child's pose. So again, we'll find some movement here. Inhale takes you forward, coming into possibly an upward dog, and exhale takes you back to child's pose. Follow your own breath here. Whatever feels good for you. Come as far forward, as far back as you like. So once again, finding some movement in the body. times. Inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you move back to child's pose. Last time, inhaling forward and exhaling back to child's pose and then inhale takes you up to tabletop again. Stretching the left foot back, right foot back, coming up into plank. And here we'll just walk forward and back on our toes. Really draw that navel in towards the spine. Keep the arms nice and strong, pushing the earth away from you. Rocking back and forth. Four more times. Really strengthen the arms, strengthen the core. This is the last time, and then we'll hold plank for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and press back to downward facing dog. Feet hip width apart, hands shoulder width apart. Pressing those heels down towards the mat that they don't have to touch. We can actually pedal the feet out a little bit here. So this is our first downward dog. It can be nice to stretch the legs one at a time. Giving each heel the opportunity to reach down towards the earth. And then find your place of stillness. On your next inhale, come forward to plank. Bring the hands maybe a little closer together so that there's room to step your foot to the outside of the hands. Let's bring the right foot forward. Open up, reach that right hand up to the sky. Hand, in, hand down and back to plank. Left side. Inhale as you come up. Inhale, open. Exhale, down and back to plank. Inhale as your foot comes forward. Open. Exhale, hand down and back to plank. Follow your own breath here, your own inhales and your own exhales. Just starting to open up the hip, open up the body. And smile. Always smiling. And always breathing. So 
And each time you come forward, drop those hips down towards the earth. Hips dropping down, arm reaching up. And once more on each side, wherever you are. Now this time, bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand and reach the right arm, arm up. And just hold here for a second. For a few seconds, I should say. <laughs> a couple of breaths, looking up towards that right hand if you can. And then drop that right hand to the inside of the right foot. Drop the back knee. And if it feels good for you, you can come down a little lower, maybe onto your elbows, into your lizard pose. Keep the right knee hugging in towards the body. So we're not going to open up the hip here. Just breathe. On your next inhale, plant the hands back down on the mat, and tuck the back toes and press your way back into plank. Inhale takes the left foot to the outside of the left hand, and again we'll open up that left hand, stretching it up towards the sky. Looking up towards the left thumb, if that feels okay in your neck. And then exhale, bring the hand down to the inside of the left foot. Drop the back knee. We'll come into our lizard pose here. If you feel you've got some room to go deeper, you can drop the elbows down to the mat, keeping that left knee hugging in to the side of the body here. And just breathe. Breathing into any sensation here. when you're ready, plant the hands back on the mat, tuck the back toes, and we'll press back into plank pose. Exhale, takes you to downward facing dog. Again, we're going to flow here between plank and downward facing dog. Inhale as you come forward. Exhale, moving like a wave between our plank and our downward facing dog. Move at your own pace, follow your own breath. Rounding forward. And then leading with the hips as you move back to downward facing dog. Take your time. Follow your breath, strong in hand. Two more times. Last time, rounding forward. And exhale back. Inhale, let's step the feet to the edges of the mat, toes pointed east-west. And we'll come down into a Malachala squat here. Elbows to the inside of the knees, pressing these knees open. Crown of the head reaching up towards the sky. Smiling at you. And 
then let's do a nice opening on each side. Left hand comes down onto the mat. Reach the right hand up to the sky. And then let's switch sides. Again, finding your own movement. Moving between opening on one side and opening on the other. No right or wrong way to move here. If you have a block, or even actually if you still have that rolled up blanket, you can place that under the hips to help you sit down. So you can have a bit of a supported squat here. If that would feel good for you. It's hard to hold the squat position. Keep moving. Whatever feels good. Last time on each side. Come back to center. Let's see if we can take a bind from here. Open up the right hand, bringing it behind your back. Maybe that's where you stay. Or you can wrap the left arm around that left knee. And see if you can grab the hands or grab the wrists here behind your back. And a nice bind. Twist here. Release that bind. Open up the left arm up to the sky, bringing the left arm behind your back, reaching the right arm around the right knee. See if you can clasp the hands here. into that Malasana squat. Take a moment just to close the eyes. Turn inwards for a moment. Slowly open the eyes, plant the hands. Toes turning forward. As you fold forward, straightening the legs, grab onto each elbow here. And just rock side to side, head hangs heavy. Don't worry about the placement of the feet. Make sure the toes are forward, but don't worry if your feet are more together or further apart. Let them be where they are right now. Swaying gently side to side. And then we'll release the hands and slowly roll up to stand. And you can come into Dudasana at the front of your mat. Feet together. Hands down by your side, palms facing forward. Come into Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, stepping back to plank, and coming through knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga in upward facing dog. Exhale, rolling over the toes, back to downward facing dog, feet hip width apart, Hands shoulder width apart, broadening through the shoulder and the eyes of the elbows, coming forward. Breathe here. On your next inhale, looking forward, step the feet between the hands, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise, hands of the hands together. And exhale, those hands through your heart center. Come back to Tadasana. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fall to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, back to plank, coming through vinyasa here.
downward facing dog. Breathing here, finding stillness in this pose. Heels reaching for the earth. They don't have to reach. They don't have to touch. The next inhale, looking forward, step the feet between the hands, halfway lift, and exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Palms of the hands together through heart center. And back to the dasana. Let's take that one more time. Inhale. Hands reach up towards the sky and exhale forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back to plank and coming through your vinyasa. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Breathing here. Inhale, step the feet between the hands, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands through heart center, and back to Tadasana. Inhale, bend your knees deeply. Coming into a chair squat, press the hands to the heart here. And from here, we're going to take some chair squats. So we'll inhale to reach your arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center, bending the knees. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We're doing 10 here. And exhale. I think that was number four. Inhale. And exhale. Five. Six. And seven. And eight. See if you can come even deeper. And nine. And 10. And let's see if we can go forward slightly under our toes and come all the way down. Keeping the knees off the mat, balancing on these toes. Breathing here. Feeling the weight forward slightly as you rock. The heels back down onto the ground. And then inhale to rise all the way up. And exhale the hands through heart center. Back to Tadasana. Let's take a big step out to the right side of our mat here. Toes pointing forward. We're going to come into a wide legged forward fold. Inhale as you reach the arms out to the side. And exhale as you fold forward, bringing the hands down onto the mat, adjust your stance as necessary. And we'll reach the crown of the head down towards the mat. As you inhale, looking forward, spin the heels in, toes pointing out to the side. And inhale your way up to goddess pose, hands to heart center. Exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat. Spin the feet back to parallel, head coming down towards the mat. Inhale, look forward. Spin the heels in, knees bent and out to the side, coming up into goddess. 
Exhale, hands come down to the mat, spin the feet parallel, head coming down towards the mat. Two more times. Inhale, look forward, spin the heels in, rising up to your goddess pose. Exhale, hands come down onto the mat, spin the feet parallel, and fold forward into your wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, look forward, spinning the heels in, up to your goddess pose. And exhale, hands come down, feet to parallel, folding forward here into your wide-legged forward fold. And just take a moment here to let the crown of the head reach towards the mat, towards the earth. Next inhale, looking forward, hands come to the hips, and then rise all the way up. Turn your right foot out, left toes point in slightly at a 45 degree angle. Arms come out to the side and bend deeply into that right knee for warrior two. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend the right knee. As you inhale, you can reach the arms up towards the sky, down through heart center as you exhale back to warrior two. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Straightening both legs and then bending back into warrior two. And just hold here, bending deeply into that knee, looking over the right hand. Cartwheel the hands down to frame the right foot. Open the right hand to the sky, looking up towards the right thumb if that feels okay on your neck. Your next inhale, drop the hand back down to frame the right foot. Drop the back knee. And we'll exhale our way back to Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Inhale, takes you forward to Anjane Asana. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, back to half split. Fold over that leg. Follow your own breath again here. Moving forward and back. Two more times and then we'll hold the half split. Inhale forward. And this time when we press back into Ardha Hanumanasana, we'll hold this position for a few breaths, holding over that right leg, right toes pointing up towards the sky, drawing the right hip back, position coming forward. Just breathing here, finding some length over that leg. your next inhale, bending into that right knee again. Use your hands to support you here as you lift that right knee slightly, bringing the knee to the outside of the mat, foot, let the right foot coming towards the other side, coming into our pigeon pose here. Left leg extended behind us, reaching up. And then folding forward into sleeping pigeon. 
You can use the forearms as a pillow here. Placing your forehead on top of the forearm. And just take a moment here to breathe. You can close the eyes once again, turn inward. No stress, no strain. Stay in the moment, be present. ready and inhale place the hands back down over the mat tuck the back toes and step your way back into plank and let's flow through vinyasa here upward facing dog rolling over the toes back to downward facing dog taking a few breaths here On your next inhale, stepping the feet between the hands, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching your arms up to the sky, and exhale, back to Tadasana. So we're now facing the back of our mat. And we'll take another big step out to the side, coming into our wide-legged fold here. Reach the arms out to the side on your inhale, and then exhale as you fold forward into this wide-legged fold, fold, hands placed on the mat, about shoulder width apart. On your inhale, looking forward, spinning the heels in, coming up into goddess, hands to heart center. On your exhale, dropping the hands down to the mat, feet to parallel, and fold forward, but you find to come deeper this time. Inhale as you look forward, spinning the heels in and up to goddess pose. On your exhale, dropping the hands down to the mat, forward fold. Two more times. Inhale to look forward, spin the heels in, coming up to our goddess pose. And on your exhale, dropping the hands down to the mat, spinning the feet parallel. Or head or head, crown of the head comes down onto the mat. Inhale to look forward. And come up into your goddess pose. And exhale as you drop the hands down to the mat, spinning the feet parallel. And fold forward into a wide-legged forward fold. Just hold here for a few breaths to come. And then on your next inhale, looking forward, hands to the hips, and come up and rise up. Turning the left toes to face in front of the mat, right toes come in about 45 degrees. Reaching the arms out to the side and bending deeply into that left knee for warrior two. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend deeply into the left knee. Warrior two. Inhale. Again, do as you please with the arms, but you might like to reach them up to the sky on your inhale. And as you exhale, bring them through heart center and back out to the side. Two more times. Inhale. And then exhale, warrior two. Inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Just hold here for a couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, windmill the hands down to frame that left foot. 
dropping the right knee down to the mat, pressing back in the Ardha Hanumanasana half split. Inhale as you come forward to Anjali Asana. Exhale, half split. Inhale, forward. And exhale, half split. Follow your own breath here. Your own inhales and exhales with the movement. We all breathe at different speeds. So my breath here is just a guide. But move at your own breath. Learn your own breath and how your body moves in conjunction, in conjunction with it. Two more times here. Last time, and this time we're going to hold our half splits here. Reaching over that leg. Just breathe. Your next inhale, bending into that left leg, using the hands to give yourself a bit of an opportunity to lift that leg slightly. Left leg comes to the outside of the left mat. Left knee opens to the outside. So you open up into our pigeon pose here and your right leg extended long behind us. Reaching up. And then as you like, folding forward. You can stay up on the elbows, you can stay up in the hands, or you can make a little pillow with the forearms. Placing the forehead down on top of the forearms to indoor speaking pigeon pose. Breathing here, long steady inhales and exhales. Breathe into any sensation. Send that breath throughout the body. Next inhale, coming up with the hands, with the body, tuck the back toes, coming up into your plank and flowing through your version of the vinyasa. Come back to downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here, broadening through the shoulders, tuck those heels behind the toes. Feel a hollowing out of the belly, the mounting of the chest down to the earth. On your next inhale, look forward, step the hands in front of the feet between the hands. Halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. Arms reaching up, hands through heart center as you exhale back to Tadasana. Let's step back out into our wide legged. Position here, hands coming to the waist, and then inhale, arms out to the side, and exhale, forward fold. And see this time if you can grab peace fingers around the big toes. Inhale as you lengthen, looking forward slightly, and exhale as you fold forward, crown of the head coming towards the mat that does not have. Elbows bending out to the side. Mm 
the next inhale, look forward, bring the hands down onto the mat. And we're going to come down with one knee at a time. It's going to be bending that right knee down onto the mat. It's left knee. Wide as in hips width, so as wide as you can on the mat. And then we're wanting our heels behind our knees. So our feet are also open wide here, right behind the knees. Coming into this frog position, make sure your weight is not too far back or too far forward, but somewhere in the middle. And we're going to hold this position, coming down onto the elbows, if that feels okay for you. A deep stretch here. Free to be up in the hands if that feels better for you. And then on your next inhale, bringing the hands down onto the mat if they're not already there. And then bring the knees back together again. So you can just sit back here on the feet for a moment. Find your way down onto the mat, hips down onto the mat. And we'll start with the right shin, or the left shin, parallel to the front of the mat opening up the left knee, bringing then the right ankle on top of the left knee, the right knee on top of the left ankle. Don't worry if there's a gap here, you can even place your blanket between if that feels better from the support. Otherwise we're coming into this like, equilateral triangle position to a log pose here, a fire log. Sitting up nice and straight, you can gently put a little bit of pressure on that knee to come down, maybe you can bring the elbow down onto that knee. Or if there's room to move here, we can come into a twist, bringing your right shoulder down to the right knee. Stretching your right arm long along that leg, bringing the palms to meet, and then looking up towards the back side. Breathing here. Really opening up those hips. Inhale, takes you back up and then let's just switch sides. Bringing the right shin parallel to the front of the mat. Left ankle on top of the right knee, left knee on top of the right ankle, sitting up nice and tall. Maybe you want to bring the elbow down to help the knee come down a bit closer towards the mat or towards the right ankle. Or if there's some, some more space to move, bringing the, right, the left shoulder on top of the left knee, hands one on top of the other, looking over towards the right. A twist as well as a hip opening here. When you're ready. Coming back to center. We'll bring the soles of the feet together, opening the knees out to the side for Baddha Konasana here. Bring some length, reaching the spine up long, crown of the head towards the sky. 
And then if there's room to move, you can come forward here. Bringing the forehead towards the mat, spreading the feet out. Inhale as you walk yourself back up to seated. Let's just stretch the right leg long here. Keeping the left knee bent, left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Stretching up nice and long. And then exhale as you fold over that right thigh. Long, slow, steady, inhales, long, slow, steady, exhales. Enjoy the stillness. Inhale, takes you back up. And we'll just switch sides. You'll notice yourself's not on the other side. Right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh, making sure your body is facing over that left leg, put a stretch long in front of you. Inhale to sit up nice and tall and exhale as you fold over the left leg. Let's bend the knees and give ourselves a nice big hug here. As we sway side to side gently. Let's bring the hands behind us, feet to the outside edges of the mat, and just windshield wiper. The legs side to side, bringing the knees down towards the earth. When you're ready, back to center, stretching the arms long in front of you and rolling down onto the mat. Stretching the legs long, toes pointing east-west, arms out to the side, palms facing up. And close your eyes here as we come into our final pose, Shavasana. Shoulders melting down into the earth, the heart pumping into the air. Continue to send the breath around the body. The rise of the belly and the inhale to fall and exhale. The openness of the air as enters the body and as it leaves the body. And try to maintain presence here as we take a few moments in silence. Just focus on the breath as the mind starts to wander from that big breath.
Number one. And this is where you can do your fingers and your toes. But of course, feel free to stay in this asana no longer if that feels better for you. Otherwise, stretch the arms long overhead, stretching the legs long here. And draw the knees into the chest. And roll over onto your right hand side. Taking a moment here, keep the eyes closed if that feels okay for you. And then pressing into that left hand, find your way back up to an easy seat here on your mat. the eyes closed. And see if you can take this practice of movement and stillness into your everyday life. That there's balance. Not too much movement. And no stillness, not too much stillness and no movement, but a balance between the two. Bring your hands to heart center. And slowly open the eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Love and light. May your heart always shine bright. Namaste.